particular direction. He went to the seminary to a Yes. And are you surprised that he was charged a couple of days after the possession of explosives? Shocked. And uh, Gregory Smith, who he said would give me this, was never charged? Yes. What would you say relative to the presence of Donald Rodney at that fateful time in the How would you put that into context? Tell us. I think that if Donald hadn't been there, then the first, first of the pamphlets would have been accurate. Um, Donald, just by the will of God, was there. And so we actually know what happened. Without Donald, we would not have known. From your evidence, it also took 10 days to retrieve the body of Dr. Walter Rodney. So much so that your evidence, I was that you plan to have the memorial service whether they release the body to you or not, correct? Yes, sir. In your view, what do you account for the and hold on, who would have been, tell us, who would have kept back the body as far as you know, because you made inquiries, mm -hmm. who would have said don't release that body to you? The security services. And what do you discern was the rationale for that? Well, uh, the first pamphlet uh, that was printed um, was not in agreement with the actual actual face of Walter Rodney. And so I assume that the body was being kept um, so that it can it can deteriorate either. And in dovetailing with your theory, mm -hmm. when we took the body, the knees was it these? Yes. You know, no. He did tell you, look here, this is in a serious state of decomposition. Yes. Right? Yes. Just to wrap up from the questions, um, yes, uh, thank you. Just to wrap up the questions is uh, when the autopsy was performed, because the body will have been kept up to the point of the autopsy. It would be released before the autopsy. Not a natural death, it was not a natural death. And we don't expect to have a case of autopsy. So when was the autopsy had in relation to the do, do you recall when the autopsy was performed? Dr. Mojo and Dr. Johnson. Dr. Mojo and Dr. Malcolm Rock has mentioned in this statement that it was done very, very. I did raise it and I did look uh, because I think both the days of the post mortem report and the other the forensic examination of the girl. I'm seeing a post mortem report here and it's dated. The 14th of June. And it is a second. That would be the next morning, the first of the fourth part. Saturday. 16. And then there was another one. The um, 14th of June. That was the 14th. And then there was another one. The 14th of June. The 22nd. The 22nd. And that one was from. At 7 a.m. on the 22nd of June, I went to Georgetown Hospital and he did. And then Dr. Spruce's report, uh, which is a that's one.
No, the report is different. I don't believe that when you look at the body, you know, it is a second, and on Sunday, it's like a second. I went to Georgetown Hospital. So that's not the job. We're trying to find out the truth now. And then you hear. Well, that's not a story. I think Dr. Smith is ready to refer to the previous post mortems for his comments. For his comments on the item. I think he was there. I think he was being told from the start of July. Maybe the start of July. The report is dated the 23rd, but it says that after these discussions on Friday, the 20th, and the receipt from Mr. Kent of the Polygora office, I visited the scene in St. John and the city of Georgia. So he had begun his processes quite early to see. Yeah, and I believe if you look more carefully, you will see that what he relied on was post mortem reports had been given rather than his own heart and the man's body. But that needs to be heard. Actually, the report was from 2012. After the discussion on Friday, June 20th, and the receipt from Mr. Kendall, of the photographs, items F69. I visited the scene in John Street in the vicinity of your son prison. So he was here by the 20th of June. Dr. Stevens. Okay. Uh, no, he was here. After all that, that 
you said two van loads drove up to the house on the Land Rover, yeah. and they were never paid those people. Can you say approximately how many persons came in those three vehicles? We're going to say about 10 to 15 people. You also said that in connection with your perception of the interaction among security persons, that they knew that Walter was dead. What impact, Dr. Rodney, led you to that? Um, the way they came into the home um, indicated that they were knowledgeable already that he was there. The attitude and the arm, the, the way they were armed. Would you say they were heavily armed? They were heavily armed, with batons and guns. Did they say why they had not? They came to search for arms and ammunition. And did they find anything? No, sir. Dr. Rodney, you did tell us that that particular search was unusual as compared to yes. the prior searches. Yes. Did you have any significance in that? No significant at all. I don't know if it's because of the men who came, because I said the ones who came before were unarmed. These were armed, very strong men. And um, they behaved in a very, if I could use the word, uncouth manner. They just threw things all over. Yes. 
Did, did you at any time introduce Dr. Waterani? Never. I lost contact with the family once I was Are you aware of any occasion on which Dr. Waterani would have met with Mr. Martin Hilbury? I don't know. In your witness statement, Dr. Rodney, you said on page 15, under the caption, party membership, You indicated 
to this commission the two hopes and the hopes of the Rockies was regularly in church. Yes, sir. Hello. Can you tell us when the pattern of regular searches really began? Uh, Intensified. In 1979. Um, he asked you a different question and you asked the one who asked. He asked you when it began. Sir, and you asked him in 35. No, sir. Um, the, I, I did accept if this is um, choice of language and I would accept intensify it. I would also ask you, Dr. Rodney, when did it really begin? Um, Seventy-eight. It was definitely before I left for Jersey. And around what time in 79 did it did those searches intensify? I would say in late 79. Second half, second, um, second, third quarter, fourth quarter. About second, second quarter, perhaps. And that was following June 1979. Pardon? If it's second half, after June 1979. Yes. And it continued right on to June 13th? Well, June 13th. Um, of 1988. That was a search that was done in 2006. And you said your house was searched approximately how many times per week? I said it intensified and during 1979 it was often, sometimes a week, sometimes two weeks. That would be approximately any time 40 to 50 searches would be carried out within the state of 52 weeks. Now, did they, did the security forces at any time find any arms and ammunition in the home of Dr. Rodney? No, sir. No ammunition? No. They never had, they never had cause to remove? They never removed anything from our house. Uh, Mr. I'm not clear. Are you saying that these intensified searches, the intensity of it, continued into 1980 or to June 13th? And which intensified late 1979? Was uh, in June, when up to the time of the return from Zimbabwe, there was a search. Two searches after the return. Um, and then the one on June 13th. Thank you very much. One other question. When the security officers came to conduct these searches, did they routinely or at all show you search warrants? No, never search warrants. Okay, sir. So, uh, how, how, many, how long after was the return to the boundary? Did you tell you how long after? The very last search. Very last search. Did you at any time advocate for an inquiry into the death of Dr. Rodney between 1980 and 1992? Say that again. Did you at any time between 1980 and 1992? I've paid for an inquiry into the death of Dr. Walter Rodney. 
Yes, I'm always advocated. And what was the response of the administration between 1980 and 1992? There was no response. Thank you, Dr. Roddy. Mr. Chairman, I have no further questions, and unless I can give further assistance, that would be my Thank you.
church. You, you were you spoke with someone? Pardon? Yeah. You spoke with someone for that? Yeah. Somebody from the president's office called to tell me that we were going to start an inquiry. And did you object to the participation of the WPA in the setting up of the inquiry? I did not object to the participation of WPA. I said I wanted to have people on not in in I wanted to have people on the commission who were neutral. That were my words. I didn't say I wanted to have the WPA not be part of what was going on. No, in terms of the setting up of the commission. Mm -hmm. Tons of references, mm -hmm. such you did you express to say you didn't want it to be involved? Not in the terms of reference. I said I wanted the commissioners to be people who were neutral. Meaning um, non people who were independent. independent. Yeah, people who weren't part of what was happening in Canada at that time. Of course. That would also exclude people who might be friendly without the running. Sure. You wouldn't expect them to sit no. as a commission in the entire. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so you could did you object to the participation of the People's National Congress in a certain amount of this environment? Did I object to them? They were never mentioned to me. I didn't object to anybody. Thank you. And um, are you aware that the pilot that actually passed a resolution calling for the second of the same way in and around 2005? Yes, we're under a different president, you know? On the same way. Are you under a different president? Yes. Uh, yes, I remember that. And um, were you aware that? I'm sorry. What was the answer? You said a different president for a Yes. I just missed Yes. It was, I think, around 2005. Yes, it was 2005. Now, um, are you aware in the passage of that resolution in the House? You know, why and that both the WPA and PNC are both in favor of having such an inquiry? Um, would you also be aware that the government has seen on that board? No. That is the people you have seen on that board? No. Now, you are aware that Dr. Rupert Group Narayan was a co leader of the RBP? Yes. That meant also that your husband was a co leader? Yes. Was that the right frequent visitor to your home? Yes, sir. Therefore, you would you would know this bodyguard. Um. Yes. Well, I didn't recognize that person. That's not the person I knew. Where you met Eric, sir? In your house, Eric, in your house, 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 in
nothing like us. That's, I don't think that's accurate. That he said they were in my house. No, no, that's accurate. They have been a study war and they said that in this point. That he went with this. Uh, he said he was in the yard. He said he came out of the room. He couldn't have come out of the room. If you know how my house, I know he didn't come out of the room. Oh, or like was the day of the day that they didn't get the record. Okay, you got the record. But I mean, it doesn't matter. He said he had the record. That's your house. Alright? Now that is very interesting. When you continue to put the girl up, she is resisted and denied. You continue to say that he, he said he had a marker at her house. No, she said he was in the yard. I, I said he must have been in the yard. Yeah, that's what she said. He must have been, but I was not there at that time. All right, but the, point, the question is that what is your position in relation to what you're saying that Gary Smith, you said you were only saw him one night. Right? Yes. I recognize this case from the papers. Yes. Could that, could therefore, this person be speaking to you when he said you saw him at your home? Yeah, this thing. I was not at my home that time, and I didn't know about that being there. Okay, if you're going to choose standings, let's clarify this. You said you were abroad from 1978 to 1979. Yes. All right? Yes. Now that uh, you are about to be up, where? In Jamaica. Okay. But well, yes, you're saying, do not stop saying period a lot of things happen to you in terms of all searches. Mm -hmm. um, I was respect, away. I respect. was away for an academic year. No, but I mean, could you then explain like the record? That's what I'm trying to make. Because you're going to ask a lot of questions. For that period, yes. and you had the harassment <laughs> searches, yes. and of your friends also, that is of your friends, mm -hmm. of your friends. And if, if it, you said that you were ready to nine seventy seven nine, so could you explain then what period you're talking about that should actually encounter these uh, these episodes of harassment searches of yes. Could you tell us what this academic year is? The academic year is usually done in October. Yes. October, do I think, from October? Yes. Okay. So, May. So, if you were to be out of the from October 1970, to May 1979. I came home in December. Oh, so you say December 1979? Okay. No, I came home from New Week in December. I spent Christmas. There are two periods. The normal one on Christmas. Which is normal one, yeah, after the second time. So I came home and then you would have I go back. a four week period in Easter. Yes. And you went up to the third time. So we try to get the specific period. Um, the witness of the author of the Yes, I understand. Right, so, so October 1978, you would say you were out until when you came back for the next so to speak. What do you mean? May. May 1979. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. But I came home in December. The Christmas break. I came home for the Christmas break. Oh, I see. All right, that's that what you will be. No, so we go around. I can't go back to the January. Something in January. Yes. So, therefore, you, you, it's clear that you could not have been speaking um, about being harassed, your house search, your children in the United in the year 1978, October, and uh, May 1979. Are you saying it happened? It couldn't happen after you said you were out. No, that was not going to happen. It right. said that she could not testify for Sam. But how did it happen? She, I think mean, this witness is asked specifically whether she is speaking out of her personal knowledge that her, she was searched, her home was searched, and that the, her friends 
for us because they associate with us and we're told that uh, have our um, concern regarding our children, the piano teacher, all those things. So we have to have a time when these things will occur. So we say, I'm not saying all of them have to share that period. So if, I'm saying if you're saying that you have these things, it has to be perhaps after you completed you. They were before you and after you. And when I was away at Huey, my husband also told me and my parents what happened. Well, it's about, that's a different matter. They're very interesting. So. But in the middle of course, you know, she, was, she had been away at the time. So you were all this time with your intervention, though, you did seem to suggest that everything she spoke about, she was an exit in skill, which is not the evidence. But that's what was elicited by Mr. Mrs. Sutton, you know, her evidence. In her evidence, for example, she spoke of phrases being harassed. They told her that. She was not present when the phrase was harassed. But that wasn't clear. That's what you're trying to find. I think I was well, very clear that she said the phrase told her that. I've been raised by questioning, but suggesting we should clarify this. Okay. And then, you know. Well, that's it. But well, that's very clear that she was not present when her phrase was harassed. No, sir, I, I can't share your view. Because you said that you're going to have to do it. Very people didn't have to do it. This is your permission. Right. <laughs> now, I'm struggled as you might have been also with that statement you made at page 16. I thought they said that um, what well, you said he wanted to speak with you and for our face and I can say that. Yes. He said he told you the children and, and they said they were great. And that he also needed to reassess what was happening in the country. I mean this is a serious statement. Some statement, and you yourself felt that you regretted that you would never had the opportunity to hear what he you was know, speaking about. Do you have a statement? Yes, what is the question? No, I'm um, a doctor, I think the patient. I'll ask you the question. Did you detect? Any kind of disaffection in that statement that it was making might have been experiencing some disaffection with what is happening with the people. No. You don't mean that? No. I think it is more <coughs> an analytic job that you need to look at what you're doing and re examine. Yeah. Were you aware? that your husband was one of three members of the security committee of the WPA? No. Yeah. Were you aware that that security committee had fired arms? No. Yeah. Now, you have any responsible thing to Were you aware that your husband, before the visit to Gary Smith on the night of the 13th of June 1980, did you know he had a prior meeting, executive meeting of the WPA? I know he had a meeting with the WPA. He was yeah. going to meetings. I don't know who in the WPA he had a meeting with. Well, that same, same night, he had a meeting, an executive meeting of the WPA, from which he left and he went to the government. So they meeting with Gary Smith. Do you believe that 
in my parents' apartment. 